So what is up guys this is Drake and here welcome back with another video on taming here on Nark Survival Evolved Mobile. So guys to this video we are gonna be taming up a Arthropleura. Okay so the, yep I suppose I said it right right? Arthropleura? Well those giant centipedes so uh, there is a way that you can instantain them instead of just feeding it those spoiled meat and waiting for a long time between each and every feed. So the way to instantain these guys is to use the soothing balm along with a breath of enlightenment. So for a breath of enlightenment you are going to need the black pearls, the woolly rhino horns, water and uh, just all the different types of crops. So I'll just put transfer off and then just light the fire and it will cook up in a minute, an exact minute. So they are sadly unlocked at level 54 and uh, for the set sadly you are going to need hide, fibers, wood, ingots, flint, cementing paste and obsidian as well. So there's a minute left right. So you are also going to need the soothing balm and the best place in my opinion to tame these guys is the middle chamber, the center cave between the volcano and the other Geiger mountain. So, in that cave there are high level spawns, frequent high level spawns which is why you find that it's quite a troublesome cave as well because the arthro split, uh, spit will just ruin up your armor as well. So uh, to tame up these guys you will need gilly armor and uh, bug repellent because they will aggro to you if you get too close and even with the bug repellent and the gilly armor if you get too close to these guys they will start attacking you as well and also their speed will ruin your armor as well no matter whether it's flat or anything and you can't go up to them and really damage them use your sword or something because they deal an insane amount of knockback from those damage so uh, the damage will come right back at you with insane amounts of multipliers or something like that and you'd be dead instantly whether you're wearing flat armor or not it just matters not and also their spirit will ruin your arm as well, reduce the durability and uh, of your weapons as well. So when you hit them with the sword or something, your durability will drop really really fast. So I'm going to be using my spider to tame up this guy uh, because the spiders don't get the aggro of other creatures and I have no idea. This guy just keeps on getting out of wherever I put this guy to. So, uh, I'm going to be using my spider because they do not attract the aggro of, of other creatures even if you attack them and also uh, if you're short on black pearls if, that means if you are just you don't like to use black pearls to just stay make a breath of enlightenment because yeah black pearls are really rare what you can do is you can go and tame up an otter because if you set the otter to attack those saber tooth summons or mega piranhas then they will, there's a chance of getting black pearls out of those guys. So, uh, I'll put the link in the description for both of those creatures for you guys to just make it easy for you guys. So, I'll see you guys in a bit when I just find a high level version to tame up. So, see you guys in a little bit then. Okay guys so we are back and there's quite a nice high level one over here so we are going to be taming up this guy and just as I showed you this is a insta tame okay so no mistakes a insta passive tame instant I mean by insta I don't mean instagram I mean instant okay so we'll just tame this guy up and then we'll take it out for a spin and we'll just check out all its abilities shall we so that's gone and then the broth so i believe what happens is that when you give the breath of enlightenment to a arthro it means that uh, the arthro becomes enlightened and it knows that uh, it can't go against you and the only chance only choice it has is to obey you so let's put this on to you Okay. So these guys are a little bit hard to navigate out of the cave 
and just like the spiders they don't aggro other creatures around you which is quite good and they've also got this pit ball attack eh? which is uh, really nice as well it just shoots acid this is the attack that ruins the arm of everyone that who that gets hit by this spider please now the good and the good thing about this one's uh, speed is that the speed increases with the uh, melee damage as well these guys have quite a nice weight capacity as well comparatively to other insects but I find that these guys are a little bit too slow as well for me well that's just my personal idea uh, this one seems quite relatively faster than normal let's just take it out of the cave first okay guys so we are now out of the cave but it's dark now so I've got the bed inside so I'm going to just sleep the night out first I'll just put all to stop get down here now guys you don't actually need a torch for this cave but the, at the entrance of the cave it's super dark and you might just end up going back outside instead of inside that happened to me quite a large number of times as well so now the arthur is tamed up i put the saddle on it's a sentence saddle so this guy takes reduced damage and is capable of so this guy is a bit faster than the normal ones I've used let's just check your stats so you got uh, the melee damage is good the weight is also 282 it's it's decent I would say uh, 1700 stamina and the health is a real record so the higher high high level ones like this Arthros usually have higher level amounts of health and uh, so they are quite good in that terms but they are quite slow if you are just thinking of doing a cave that is really long like the yeti cave even though these guys don't attract the aggro for the creatures they are really really slow so your pro progress will be quite painful i would say so uh, now let's just do the acid spit it's just it's easy to aim actually it's like a, almost like a sniper shot quite easy to aim and dead and also it's got a nice reach as well and to show you this i'll just switch to first person view which is easier to aim so guys if you're just aiming at far away targets you should you go to the first person view and this is a bit almost like arrows except that it's a bit slower than arrows so look up and shoot and as you can see it's going for a really really long range and it splashed down at the bottom it has a slight splash radius as well so you should keep that in mind as well so this will be a bit visible I hope all the way across the plane now I'm not sure about this fact but uh, if you're playing on PvP you can try it out. I've heard that these guys have the ability to just damage metal. So if there's a metal structure like this you could just easily go into the first person view and stay at a really long range and just shoot like this and just keep shooting until you get the, the correct aim. 
so once you got the correct team you can just easily from a really far away just keep on doing this and your enemies won't even know and the enemy tribe can't even find out from where this projectors are coming so it's quite handy thing so it's quite a handy thing uh, and also these guys can go up nearly almost vertical walls i would say uh, almost vertical walls as in not walls the almost vertical cliff faces so they have the ability to do that and also always remember you if you are just taming these guys you need either a spider or jelly arm and a bug repellent although the jelly arm isn't uh, actually necessary you could use normal armor with the bug repellent but don't get too close they will start attacking you and also every, if you have hopes of taming one of these guys every time you wanna run one of the caves where these guys spawn in always just remember to take a breath of enlightenment and a soothing lotion as well with you because the Arthros high level ones if you are aiming for a high level version uh, they are not quite frequent spawn so you should just keep that in mind as well so this guy's speed is quite uh, far reaching and at the same time easy to aim it's like the way the arrows go as well so they are pretty creepy creatures I would say and uh, they are good for night raids as well so these guys can be found in caves and also there are some in the dungeon also you can find the a version a certain version of the Arthropleuras as the Arthropleura boss and the Arrhenio minions so that's another way that you can find these Arthros so either way if, or if you are playing if it's the dungeon that you are doing then you definitely have to just kill it and retrieve the implant but if you are doing it this way you won't have to do that process so guys the Arthros are good but not marvelous and they don't attract the aggro for the creatures but also they don't they are not very fast as well the attack speed isn't very fast i would say but you should always keep in mind that there's the advantage that any player that tries to attack you on this guy any player since someone comes and hacks at you with a sword just remember that uh, they get quite a nice deal back of damage from this one's damage reflective ability which is still there even though this is a tamed version it's still there unlike the Gaiga's uh, bleed which is completely lost so and also you can also set it on aggressive so if you are you if you are a fan of those plant turrets you can just if you lack the fertilizers for those plant turrets but the easiest thing you can do is just set this guy on aggressive and then set it on turret mode and these guys naturally by themselves have quite a decent targeting so unlike if you are doing these guys won't miss they will never miss their attacks and there's a range as well so and while it's on the turret mode also you can ride it but you can't just you can just use the you can do it like this but you can't walk around with it so now you are on aggressive and you are on the turret mode so are you on aggressive yet? nope you are ok and you are on turret mode so and that was a miss so flying creatures are a bit difficult to attack but any other creature that comes nearby will be attacked by these guys quite nicely so guys that's it about the arthros they are good creatures and uh, although it's not verified i've heard that these guys can damage metal and other structures though i can't say that for certain as well but anyways keep in mind that these are good things for caves as well and they are attack range is really high as i just showed you guys and also they, their attack increases along with their the speedball damage increases along with your increase in melee damage 
which is quite advantageous as well and the diplos can't push you back no creature no creatures will have grown to you which is also really great so that's it about the arthros guys so this is dragon here over and out so if you find this video to be helpful, ring that notification bell and smash that thumbs up and subscribe as well and never miss a video. So bye guys, until next time.